Hey everyone, I hope you're having a good day. I'm here with Don. He's giving me a demo today on the Compress UV printer. Ready to go? I'm ready to go. All right, let's do it. All right, so this is our Compress IUV 600S, and it's basically one of the two models we carry. The, the only difference in them is that one's a 1200, one's a 600. It's really about print area, all right? Okay. The, the 600 has a 24 inch by 18 inch print area. When you go to the 1200, this becomes about 45 by 29 and a half. Okay. Both of them will lower down to 11.8 inches. So we can print an item that's almost a foot tall inside the machine. Similar print speeds, print head, everything, software is identical. It's just sure. about size, okay. all right? So what we're gonna show you today is on the, the smaller machine just because it doesn't make us look like little people, <laughs> but also just it gives us a chance to show you a lot of different items that we'll do smaller. Yeah. Generally when you go to the 1200 is when you either have items that obviously don't fit here or when you're doing large numbers of items that are moderate size. Okay. Um, if you look up on the wall over there, you may not be able to see it with the camera, but up over here on the wall, that actually represents the print areas of the two okay. machines. So it's about three times right. the print area when you go to the 1200. So something you might only get one on here, you might get five okay. over there. So it's more efficient. But other than that, same thing. And we probably sell pretty close right now to equal numbers of both. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do today is go through and show you a couple different things. One of the things that UV printers do mm -hmm. is they print on all kinds of cool stuff, as you see yeah. evidence behind you. Um, it doesn't have to be a non-dimensional item. We got golf balls. Right? You know, we print on thumb drives, poker chips. We print it on carbon fiber, wood, cell phone cases. It really is the best way to describe it, and I think we've coined this phrase, is UV printing is digital pad printing. Okay. Just like with our DTG, it's kind of replacing screen printing for garments. This is replacing pad printing for rigid goods, things okay. that are have dimension to them. And it does, it's like texturized sometimes, right? It can be textured. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you look at these here, right, we have, these are two phone cases. This was actually Bill's. He used this thing for about a year and a half, and the case wow. just gave up the ghost on him. But this wow. is actually a gator skin texture that feels like a gator Very skin. Cool. And then this is a basket weave pattern that was done. So. so you just build up the ink, and then you print the colors over top of it, okay. and you get texture. Wow. How much is something like that with all the ink? Involved. Those those cases were probably under two dollars each to print. Probably a wow. dollar and a half. It's been a long time. I had those. Those are both printed well over two years ago, so I wow. don't remember exactly. But in that range, yeah. um, there's about six or seven layers of underbase to build up. Mm -hmm. So there's a bit of ink there, as opposed to if you print, you know, we print something like this mm -hmm. onto a white tile, probably cost sure. seven cents. Yeah, not, so not much. Not much. But when you start to do the build up, you start to. It's like printing seven prints instead of one. Okay. They just happen to be on top of each other. But there's no other way to do that, short yeah. of carving into something or something like that. So it allows, there are people who use it to do, they'll raise websites out of a sign or something like that, or make something <laughs> pop like that. Great. Or you'll do textured things like this, it's just people want something yeah. that's got a personality so to it. Yeah. yeah. So I've got some examples of some materials we print. This is just a clear acrylic. I want to show that so we can show you what it's like printing okay. on the back of something. Yeah. This is a back printing. This is a cheap phone case, just to give you an idea of what to print on one of those is like. This is what we call a LumaCore which is a metal sign material and just a raw piece of wood. Awesome. Just to give you an example, the lights you see, those are actually UV lights and they instantaneously set the inks. Awesome, let's look at that. Looks nice. And does and it a, need any setting time or anything? No, or? it's dry. You can feel it. Okay. Completely dry. Wow, awesome. Now we'll have a little bit of fun. Put the piece of acrylic in here. And as I set up the other piece there for an acrylic, that's our rectangle there. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's moving right along in there. You can see it through the little screen. Yep. There you get it. Exactly what you wanted, right? Like that. Let's take this off. All righty. First thing we'll do is get our painter's tape off. Wow, it looks nice. Yeah, I can see this looking really nice on a trophy or. Yeah. All right, turn that one on the front. Are 
you go. Wow. It's dry. Look at that. You don't want it to be dry, but it's dry. So there's kind of a rustic type there of sign. You got the, the clear. So we have pretty good examples here. You know, these two items came from a core base. This one was a bright white. This was a, a dollar white. This was a clear that we put the color down first and then white behind it. And this was just a piece of wood. We put a white down and we put the color on top of it. All right, everyone, here are the finished products. I'm so excited. I think they turned out amazing. I was really looking forward to demoing the UV compress printer because the things it does are really amazing. It is so unique. Um, it can make textured designs. It can print on just about anything. Um, so thanks for watching. Make sure you stay tuned to the rest of the videos in this series because I'm going to be able to demo all the machines in our showroom.